happy to have some fun. 12 News is everything, Arizona. We're taking you everywhere A to Z. This week, we're in Cape Creek and Carefree. And this morning, Team 12's Brandon Hamilton is digging into history at the Cave Creek Museum. One way to hold on to the Wild West spirit is to preserve it. We have something of everything that relates to the northern Sonoran Desert. The archaeology wing takes you back more than 10,000 years. The timelines, the ceramics, and the artifacts explain how we can interpret life in the past. The Pioneer Wing takes you back to the 1800s, to the time of the Apache Wars to the gold mining boom when prospectors first arrived seeking an interest in what was being pulled out of the nearby mountains. And when cattle ranchers ruled the land. In the main room, you'll notice beautiful paintings from Cave Creek artist Sharon Brenning. And the black and white photos taken by Herb Cohen capture Cave Creek's characters from the past. And outside is where the most magnificent history is preserved. This is the last standing tuberculosis cabin in the state of Arizona. In the early 1900s, the dry climate attracted those seeking health in the sunlight and clean air of the West. Many cabins just like this one were scattered out in the desert of Cave Creek. Several folks who came out to Cave Creek not only survived, they thrived. Also on site is Cave Creek's first church built in 1948 and it still hosts weddings to this day. And the prized possession is the historic tin stamp mill, which was pulled from the Golden Reef Mine and reconstructed on site. If you are lucky, you will catch volunteers bringing this giant piece of mining equipment back to life once a month from October through May. The Cave Creek Museum is truly a time capsule displaying the legacy and history of the dusty old western town. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News.